Jillian. I'm with the Florida Public Archaeology Network. I'm going to be showing you some of the best archaeology sites in South Florida, open to the public and in your backyard. Today we're at Indian Mound Park in Pompano Beach. Located at the corner of Hibiscus Avenue and Southeast 13th Street and overlooking the Intracoastal Waterway, this park sits on a prehistoric Indian burial mound. The park was first dedicated in 1940 as a bird sanctuary. In 1958, during Pompano Beach's Golden Jubilee, the park was rededicated as Indian Mound Park. In the 1930s and 40s, many professional and amateur archaeological investigations took place here. Through these investigations, archaeologists determined that the mound was constructed around the year 1300 AD as a place for ceremonial burials. It is thought that the builders of the mound were ancestors of a tribe known as the Tequesta Indians. The Tequesta built the mound by carrying basket after basket of sand from the beach all the way back here. Before burial, the bodies of the Tequesta dead were taken to a special house and allowed to decompose. The bones were then cleaned, bundled together, and taken here to be buried. The mound is about 16 feet high. A walking path leads right up to the top of it, allowing you to stand where the Tequesta did nearly a thousand years ago. If you take a walk along the path in the park, you'll see that signs are set up to tell you about the Dequesta and the mound. The park is still a place for bird lovers, with feeders and bird baths to encourage the birds to stay and sing a while. Nature lovers will appreciate the plants growing in the park, such as these Ixora, one of the most popular flowering shrubs in South Florida. Benches by the Intracoastal allow you to take in the view of the water. A picnic table under a huge shade tree provides a great place to enjoy a healthy picnic lunch. Or not. Candy works too. And with plenty of space to run and play, this park is definitely kid-friendly. A short five-minute walk brings you to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, where your options for activities are nearly endless. Whatever you like to do, Indian Mound Park and the areas around it can certainly entertain you for the day. After exploring Indian Mound Park, I'm gonna go back to where they got all the materials to build it. But I'm not doing any building, I'm just gonna relax. I'll see you next time. If you'd like to learn more about the publicly accessible archeology span sites in Florida, go to www.flpublicarchaeology.org.